Hello again. So we have reached exercise five in the assignment sheet, and here we have a similar exercise to the one, to the previous one. But here we need to display the sum of the, the sign of the addition. And again, without performing the addition, they are telling us to use the hint. I will not uh, uh, read it now. And let's again take some examples. So, if for example I am, I have, uh, uh, I want to do some, for example, six plus five. So, and we know that we have positive, negative, and zero. So, let's say we have plus five and plus plus five, plus six plus five. Obviously, the sum would be equal to plus 11. So, it, the sum would be plus. So, if we have uh, two integers with plus, with the sign with positive, so it means that the addition would be equal to plus. What if we have two integers of negative? So, obviously, the sum would be negative. However, Sometimes you have uh, two digits, uh, two numbers. Each one of these is of different size. So let's take a small example. Let's say that we have uh, five and plus. So this is A and this is uh, B. So the sign, so the, the sum is equal minus one and the sign is negative. Why is negative? Because one of them is negative. Of course, the one is positive and the second one is negative. And what's what's more is that if I I'm looking to the this one to the negative one, six here is greater than five. So the absolute value of six is greater than five. So for this, the sum would be equal to negative. So the same is uh, for uh, the other parts. For example, if I have five here and minus four here, so the sum is positive here. Why? Because one is positive, the other one is negative. And for the negative one here, if I do the absolute value, it will be less than the positive part. So even if I'm subtracting this quantity, it will remain positive. So let us do a, a, a table like in the previous exercise. So it's not going up. So I have here A, I have B, and I have the sign of the addition. So if A is positive and B is positive, the sum is positive, so the sign is positive. What if A is negative and B is positive? So here we have two cases. So either the absolute value of A is less than absolute value of B or the absolute value of A is greater than B. So let us put here. So if the, va the absolute value of A is less than the absolute value of B, so B is greater in the sense that B as quantity is greater, so the sign would be positive. What if I have the contrary, A is negative, B is positive, and the absolute value of B is less than the, val the absolute value of, of A, so the positive here is less than the negative, so negative is bigger, so the sign would be a negative. Let's see again, so if I have two negative numbers, so obviously the sum would be negative. What if I have A positive and B negative, and again, the absolute value of A is greater, so A is positive, and B negative, and absolute value of A is greater than absolute value of B, so again here we have plus. Here, if we have plus and minus, and we have absolute value of A is less than absolute value of B, I could, I could write it B is less than A, uh, so we have here also negative because B is greater so we can write it B is greater than A so the, the negative part is greater and I can have the value 0 so 0 where I can have the value 0 is when the quantities are equal so if it's not positive if it's not negative if A is equal to B it's now easier if A is equal equal to b it means that a is equal to b or equal to minus b sorry so even for example a equal to 5 and b equal uh, to uh, 5 minus 5 so 5 plus minus 5 equals 0 even if i have a equal minus 5 and b equal to 5 minus 5 plus 5 equal to 0 so uh, we should have this uh, equality so a is equal to minus b so let's go and program this. So we have int two integers a and b. So we ask the user to enter uh, these integers, enter two integers. 
and at the end we say print f I forgot to scan off the let's write the product the sum the sign of the sum is between percentage d and percentage d is either positive negative or zero let's see it later depends on what we wrote so scan off percentage d two percentage d's and address of a oh, address of b then i will do the if so as we have wrote earlier so if a is positive let me use bracket so if a positive and b positive or so forcibly the sign would be positive and when when we have the case when the positive if a is negative and b is positive and the sign and the absolute value of a is less than the absolute value of b or a is positive b negative and the absolute value of a is greater than the absolute value of b then the sign is positive so here we have this one and this one now so we have three uh, expression and two ors so we have a negative and b positive and the f absolute value so here they are asking us to use the f apps the absolute value uh, and we should include the library math.h so and the absolute value of a is less than the f absolute value of b or a is positive and b is negative and the absolute value of a is greater than the absolute value of b it means that the sign of the sum is positive so when we have the sign negative is where we have both sign of a and b is negative or a is negative b positive and the absolute value of b is less than a or a is positive b is negative and the absolute value of a is less than b or the absolute value of b is greater than a so i have an else so else if if a is negative and b is negative or a is positive a is negative b is positive and the absolute value of a is greater than the absolute value of b or a is positive b is negative and the absolute value of a is less than b it means that the sign is negative negative at the end we have uh, the sign equal to zero so there is no need to uh, do the the check so the sign of the sum between a and b is zero we'll do uh, another solution in a while so let's run okay i have forgot here a double quotation this is it let's run okay warning warning expect a matching where is this so there's a 21 okay we didn't fill here so a okay stop a stop a and b a and b a and b okay and here also a and b let's run so there's no uh, there's a v here okay run one more time hopefully it will yes finally so let's say five and minus six five and minus six one is is nega positive so a is uh, positive and b is negative a is positive is b is negative however the absolute value of b is greater so it's here so the sign would, would be e would be a negative so it's negative let's run it for with one with five and minus five so it will be equal to zero so this is the solution um, however you could have uh, for example first uh, 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 
displayed the value for uh, the case where it's negative so you can exchange the if and else's it's already it's uh, totally normal however you can also do if a equal equal minus b you will do this and then else do some of the if for example do this if and else there is no need now for this if here and do the last print f so it depends how on, on how you approach the problem so obviously you will end you should have the three print if print f here so and here you can choose your own way of doing the tests this one is more easier because if a is equal to minus b we will directly print that the sum is zero however here we will check just the positive the negative case and the positive case so it, it will be the last solution so it's if it's not zero if it's not negative so obviously it will be a positive without doing the conditions so let's run it again with 5 minus 5 so obviously we will enter here because it's equal to zero so this is it for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask me send me a message or comment on your video and uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notification and thanks for watching